Becker Weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. Temperatures right now are currently in the 70s and the 80s in most spots. The coolest temperatures are where we have little or where we have had some showers and thunderstorms around over the past few hours as well as more cloud cover. And then the warmer temperatures are where we have had more sunshine and drier conditions throughout the day today. We've also had widespread haze and areas of smoke around throughout the day today and the air quality right now is currently in the moderate or good category in most spots and the air quality will continue to improve as we go through the day tomorrow. There were a few isolated showers around this morning. Most locations were dry this afternoon and this evening. There have been scattered showers and thunderstorms in western and southern Montana as well as in portions of central Montana. There have been multiple severe thunderstorms in south central and southwestern Montana with large hail as well as damaging winds. In Billings, there was a wind gust up to 61 miles per hour. In north central Montana, we do have some showers and storms impacting Fergus County and Judith Basin County right now, including the Lewistown area. We've also had showers and thunderstorms impacting Teton County for the past several hours, and we're still seeing some of that precipitation right now, especially right along I-15 in the Dutton area and the Power area. Pretty strong thunderstorm just to the east of Dutton right now. And then in Cascade County, we have had a few showers and storms around for the past few hours. And the strongest thunderstorms have been to the south and north of Great Falls, but we are seeing some rain right now in the Great Falls area. And as we take a look at the Great Falls Clinic Eye Cam, you can see that we have overcast skies with that rain falling and the wind has picked up as well. So we are seeing sustained wind speeds right now between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue for the rest of this evening and the first half of tonight in the southern half of Montana, as well as in central Montana, including in Fergus, Judith Basin, and Cascade counties. Could see a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity in Choteau County and Teton County as well for the next few hours. But once the sun does set, that precipitation will start to taper off. And by about midnight, most of that precipitation will be done with, although isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible during the second half of tonight, especially in the Fergus County area. We're also going to have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies overnight tonight with that cloud cover decreasing as the night goes on. For tomorrow, we are going to have partly to mostly sunny skies throughout the day. In central and western Montana, most locations will be dry. A couple isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible, but most of that precipitation will be in the mountains. In the eastern half of Montana, that's where there will be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around tomorrow afternoon and evening, including in northeastern Montana within Phillips County and Valley County. We could see a couple isolated severe thunderstorms later on tomorrow in eastern Montana as well, with damaging winds and large hail being the main hazards. Little to no precipitation tomorrow night with mostly clear skies and then beautiful weather as we head into Thursday. Bit of clock over in northeastern Montana, but for the rest of us, it will be mainly sunny and dry. We are going to continue to have widespread haze around as we go through the rest of tonight. But then as we go through tomorrow, the wind direction is going to change to come out of the north. So hazy during the morning, but the haze will decrease as we go through tomorrow with all locations seeing good air quality as we get into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. As we go through tonight, little to no wind outside of the gusty winds associated with those thunderstorms. Tomorrow, the wind's not going to be bad, but it will be a bit breezy during the afternoon and the evening as a little front works its way through our area. Could see a few gusts over 30 miles per hour at times, and again, that wind will be coming out of the north. Tonight, cooler than it was last night for a lot of us. Low temperatures are going to be in the 50s in most spots. Tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 70s and low to mid 80s, and tomorrow will be the coolest day of the next week, then warmer as we head into Thursday with highs in the 80s.